Hi, this is Dennis Sturgeon. I'd like to welcome you to this brief lesson on aim, purpose, vision, and mission. It's a way we can give meaning, direction, and focus to the vision of the organization through our values in action. In Peter Schulte's work, he's defined a variety of leadership competencies for leadership and management. And in particular, he identified giving meaning, direction, focus, and vision to the organization. This is not a magical step. It takes some work. I'd like to start with this thought from Margaret Mead about engaging the team in a shared future. Her quote says, Never doubt that a small group of thoughtful, committed people can make a difference. Indeed, it is the only thing that ever has. That's our challenge. When we think about aim and purpose, the values and the vision, as well as the mission of one sort or another in our system, I refer to these as the focusing components. The aim is supposed to be common. It's where we obviously want to go and what we want to do in common. The purpose is supposed to be constant. It means that it's constantly present. It unites us, both team and person, our values are values in action. What we say and do in our behavior, words, and actions are representative of our values. Our vision should be clear. It's what it should look like when we get to our aim. And our missions are always time-bound. It's what we do to start the journey and to continue the journey towards our aim. I've used the phrase, a common aim, and this very much comes from the work of Dr. W. Edwards Deming, who's identified that a system has to have an aim, and without such an aim, there's no system. The aim of the system must be clear to everybody in the system. The aim has to include plans for the future, and it should state a social value and provide a long-term purpose. The aim is a value judgment. Thus ends the quote from W. Edwards Deming. A point I'd like to make is that disappointing or malfunctioning systems do not always have an aim that's obvious. A recommendation from Dr. Deming, the aim proposed here for any organization is for everybody to gain, stockholders, employees, suppliers, customers, community, the environment, all over the long term. For example, with respect to employees, the aim might be to provide good management, opportunities for training and education for further growth, plus other contributions to joy in work and quality of life. Point one of the 14 points the reader will recall calls for a statement of constancy of purpose, the aim of the system, emphasis on purpose. A constant purpose is how management can begin to transform the system engaging employees, suppliers, and customers so they can know the intentions of management and leadership, and they can see the difference in management behavior, uniting person and system. It's also important for us to think about where we want our organization to be five years, 10 years, or 20 years from now. This can change, but it should not shift with every wind that blows or with fad to fad to fad. We need to give people the methods, though, to accomplish this transformation. And I have the question here, why do workers and managers need to know the mission? It's so we can all plan for the future. Our values in action are what guide us on our journey together to the aim shared for the organization. It's important for us to talk to the team that's going to help us reach that aim and purpose. We need to talk about what values we share as human beings, what values we share as people working in the same social system towards the same purpose. And we need to talk about what do we do to collaborate and work together in the same organization. And for some people who misunderstand what collaboration means, in this sense, it's talking about cooperation. Our stated values must match our values in action. Where we have team conflict, we have mismatched values, and frequently is a problem 
where our words say one thing, but our action says much differently. So we need a vision that's clear, and the vision directs the mission, and one mission after another. Both the vision and the mission direct the organization by linking strategies to tactics into the future. We need to describe what the organization looks like and acts like at a future date for the people and teams who have to make it happen. Asking questions like, how will the organization look to both customers and to employees, to share owners or taxpayers, to suppliers, community and stakeholders? And what will we do then that we do not do now and how will we be better at what we already do? These are all useful questions to help us clarify the vision. Missions of one sort or another are bound by time. Vision directs the multiple missions, as I've mentioned, and together the two of them direct the organization. What we have to accomplish between where we are and where we want to be in our vision of the future is what the missions are all about. They're interim steps that begin and continue our journey to that future. There's a marker of time, whether it's a specific date or a year. Missions are almost always focused on a specific point of time. Finding our aim and purpose, then, is an opportunity for us to ask ourselves just what is management's aim for this system that is management's creation. As mentioned before, an aim should state a social value and has to provide a long-term purpose. What do the people who work there have as their aim? And what's the social value to them? Besides just holding a job or a position, there's something of value to the people who work in the system, and we need to find out what that is. We also need to reconcile the differences between leaders of the effort and everyone else through dialogue to create the common purpose in the aim and engage all the people who work there to support the aim. It's also useful to use brainstorming with the people in the organization to gather ideas and use affinity grouping to cluster similar ideas together and to improve the description in a sentence or two of what is our aim and purpose. By focusing on the components, starting with the aim and the purpose, the values in action, and our vision about what it will look like when we get to our aim are how we integrate every single task, objective, and mission of the organization. In our next program, we're going to talk about implementing the aim and purpose through these focusing elements. We'll also get into goal and objective setting with the team in our next segment. We've provided a number of resources in the printed material. We would like you to expand your knowledge further by picking up any of these books. You'll find them highly helpful. Thank you for your time and attention. We'll look forward to talking to you again at some future date. You have my email. You have my phone number. And have a great day.